On Sunday afternoon, the team of Arabs that successfully climbed Mount Everest returned to the UAE. While they made headlines everywhere for being the first in various categories to reach the top of the world's highest mountain from the Arab world, they say their achievement means more to them than just making history. Our correspondent Khadija Sali has this report. The homecoming on Sunday afternoon was joyful for the four Arab climbers who are now well known as Arabs with altitude. Among them is Raha Muharak, the first Saudi woman and the youngest Arab to climb Mount Everest on the 18th of May. Unassuming and modest, Raha says she doesn't think much of being the first to conquer the mountain for as long as she's not the last. I never climbed to, to, make, to, to make history. I really never did. I just wanted to climb a mountain. <laughs> and uh, it's very humbling, but I'm absolutely honored by the amount of media we've been getting, and especially the amount of Saudi girls that are getting in contact with me, asking me about this. It's just amazing. Standing on the summit of the world, I reached there with hard work. It was personal hard work, persistence, uh, endurance, with my own two feet, convincing my parents is them being put in an uncomfortable situation of leaving, letting me go for two months. So it's a great feat from their end, and I honestly think that it's, it's a more amazing achievement that my parents, my, my mom and my dad, and my, my brother and sister, extended family, have understand and gave me the chance to go. It's amazing. Meanwhile, the three men reached the top of one of the world's deadliest climbs on the 27th of May amidst extreme conditions that has claimed many lives. Despite suffering from frostbite, businessman Masood Mohammed from Iran is already thinking of the next adventure. Definitely, I already thought of doing it again. Uh, it's an amazing mountain, but I don't know if I can convince um, uh, Mohammed and Rai to do it with me once more. Uh, it, it's an amazing experience. Uh, you're two months away uh, from everything. Uh, you're completely disconnected. And um, yeah, it's, it's an awesome experience. And to stand on top is uh, indescribable. Suzanne al Hubi, the first Arab climber and the first Palestinian woman to summit Everest, also welcomed the group in a show of support. Raid Zidane, the first Palestinian man to achieve the same feat, aims to inspire others to realize their dreams. I hate the idea of someone telling you you can't do this or you can't accomplish this or you can't reach this goal. It just doesn't register with me. So I'm always looking for that next challenge. I'm a rally driver, I'm a pilot, I'm a mountain climber. Uh, you know, um, anything that someone tells me, you know, I cannot accomplish or I cannot reach, you know, I, I work hard on it. Uh, I use the resources and ultimately I get there. And so far, alhamdulillah, it's, it, it paid off every single time. Known for his daring spirit and generosity, Sheikh Mohammed Al Thani, the first Qatari man to reach Mount Everest, is no stranger to challenges and uses his adventures to help others. There's a social message and there's a personal message. The, the social message is, uh, as a amb brand ambassador for Reach Out to Asia, uh, we're generating funds, we're raising funds for uh, to, to for sc for scholarships uh, for all the, uh, for many uh, kids in Nepal to continue their education after they finish high school, uh, so they can provide for their families and get out of the slums. Uh, as of uh, as a personal message, uh, I would like to to uh, to motivate the youth that uh, dreams can come true. Uh, and for them to have dreams and work towards reaching them and then also realizing their dreams. Uh, that is my main message and uh, I think coming from the desert and reaching the highest point on the earth is a huge thing. For now, I'd like to go back home and sleep <laughs> and on, on a bed, not on the floor, on icy floors. But uh, probably uh, my next mountain uh, would be Denali in, uh, in uh, Alaska and uh, uh, we, we probably will go as a, a team of Arabs again to finish off the seven summits uh, all together the way we started it. Arabs with Altitude is a unique group brought together by friendship and a common passion for overcoming challenges. While they stayed on top of Mount Everest for only 15 minutes or so, the ripple effect of what they achieved was worth the climb. Khadija Sali, 7 National News.